Welcome to Configuring Equinix Connect Part 3 of 3. In this video, we will be covering dual homed architectures. If you'd like to revisit either Part 1 or Part 2 of this video series, look for the video links in the description. Dual homed architectures. Dual home direct. This is offered in Americas only. The customer is using a flat network. Here the customer wants a slash 30 on each link without having any LAN address. It may go to their firewall or switch. Equinix is not responsible for the failover mechanism. The customer gets by default a slash 30 or 126 free of charge by Equinix. Dual home static. For this configuration, Equinix will have a static route from each equipment pointing to the next hop of the respective link. It uses the Juniper RPM, real-time performance monitoring, feature to ensure the removal of the static route when the link to the customer is down. Equinix provides the following IP assignment for provisioning free of charge. For IPv4, 2 slash 30s. For IPv6, 2 slash 126s. The example in the diagram shows a customer with an additional slash 27 subnet. The customer purchases additional IP addresses with the following options. IPv4 choices are slash 30, slash 29, slash 28, or slash 27. IPv6 choices are slash 64, or slash 48. Dual Home VRP Direct, PA, Layer 2, slash Layer 3, Provider Assigned IP Addresses. This configuration uses a flat network, not routed. Equinix assigns an IPv4 slash 29, or IPv6 slash 64 for provisioning. Protection switching is based on what we call a layer three approach, where the customer's equipment does the switching based on monitoring the hellos. Or put another way, the customer must provide the multi-axis network, layer two switching, required for VRP advertisements between the master and slave. Customer gets slash 30 or slash 126 by default free of charge. If the customer wants to have more IP addresses behind that, they can purchase them from Equinix using the POF EC additional IP addresses. IPv4 choices are slash 28 or slash 27. IPv6 choices are slash 64 or slash 48. Dual home VRP direct PI layer two slash layer three provider independent. This is the same as the previous example, except that the customer wants to use their own subnet and does not want to run BGP. Equinix has to originate the prefix subnet. Note that the customer's own subnet has to be greater than or equal to a slash 24. Protection switching is based on what we call a layer three approach, where the customer's equipment does the switching based on monitoring the hellos. Or put another way, the customer must provide the multi-axis network, layer two switching, required for VRP advertisements between the master and slave. Dual homed VRP static, PA, layer two slash layer three, provider assigned IP addresses, previously known as multi-homed VRP point to point. This is the most common configuration for primary or secondary internet access. Here, the customer is using a routed network behind their devices. They are provided with an IPv4 slash 29 or IPv6 slash 125 for provisioning. In this example, the customer points the default route to the first IP on the slash 29 point to point subnet. It shows the customer with a slash 27 for the routed network. When purchasing the additional IP addresses for that network, they can choose from these options. IPv4 choices are slash 30, slash 29, slash 28, or slash 27. IPv6 choices are slash 64 or slash 48. Protection switching is based on what we call a layer three approach, where the customer's equipment does the switching based on monitoring the hellos. Or put another way, the customer must provide the multi-axis network, layer two switching, required for VRP advertisements between the master and slave. Dual-homed VRP static PI, 
Layer 2 slash Layer 3 Provider Independent. This was previously called Multi-Honed VRP Point-to-Point. -point. This is similar to the previous example, except here the customer wants to use their own subnet and does not want to run BGP. Equinix originates the prefix subnet. Note that the customer's own subnet has to be greater than or equal to slash 24. The diagram on the side is using the customer slash 24 for the routed subnet with the point to point assigned free of charge. Customer gets slash 29 by default free of charge. Dual home BGP PA provider assigned IP addresses with private ASN and PA space. Here the customer needs the assignment from Equinix for both private ASN and PA space. Equinix provides two IPv4 slash 30 or two IPv6 slash 126 for configuration free of charge. BGP policy is used to select default routes, full routes, default plus full routes. Getting additional IP addresses from Equinix becomes mandatory using the POF EC additional IP addresses. Their choices are for IPv4, slash 29, slash 28, or slash 27, for IPv6, slash 64, or slash 48. Dual home BGP PI, provider independent, public or private ASN with own PI space. This is similar to the previous example, except here the customer has their own PI space. Customer's own subnet has to be greater than or equal to slash 24. They either have their own public ASN or are using a private ASN assigned by Equinix. Equinix provides two IPv4 slash 30 or two IPv6 slash 126 for configuration free of charge. BGP policy is used to select default routes, full routes, default plus full routes. Multi-site dual-homed BGP PA provider assigned IP addresses, EMEA only, private ASN with PA space. Here the customer needs the assignment from Equinix for both private ASN and PA space, and the customer takes a dual-homed service split across two sites. Equinix provides two IPv4 slash 30 or two IPv6 slash 126 for configuration free of charge. BGP policy is used to select default routes, full routes, default plus full routes. Getting additional IP addresses from Equinix becomes mandatory using the POF EC additional IP addresses. Their choices are IPv4 slash 29 slash 28 or slash 27, IPv6 slash 64 or slash 48. Multi-site dual-homed BGP PI provider independent, EMEA only, public or private ASN with own PI space. This is similar to the previous example where the customer takes a dual-homed service split across two sites, except here the customer has their own PI space. Customer's own subnet has to be greater than or equal to slash 24. They either have their own public ASN or are using a private ASN assigned by Equinix. Equinix provides two IPv4 slash 30 or two IPv6 slash 126 for configuration free of charge. BGP policy is used to select default routes, full routes, default plus full routes. This concludes the video series on configuring Equinix Connect. Thanks for watching.